In this video, I'll show you how to make a dynamic testimonial slider for your WordPress website. The method demonstrated in this video allows you to manage testimonials from the WordPress backend using their own custom post type. And you know the best thing is that you can design any layout to suit your specific requirements and creativity. So, let me show you what you will need. To start with, I have already created a custom post type called Testimonials using the CPTUI plugin. Here, I will be simply creating posts for each client testimonial. We'll use the content editor to display the testimonial content, the post featured image for the author avatar, and for the rest of the fields like author name and designation, we'll create custom fields. So, let's quickly create custom fields for the testimonials post type. Like author name. Designation. Assigning this field group to a custom post type called testimonial. Then let's publish it. Next, I'll add some testimonials. With basic information like description, author name, designation, and author image. Similarly, added few more client testimonials. By this, we are done with the basic setup. In the next step, we'll design the layout for our testimonial section, how we want things to be displayed on the front end. For this, go to AE Templates, add new. Let's assign a template name. Then under the Anywhere Elementor settings, we need to do some configurations like, under the Render Mode, select Block Layout, then in the Preview Post, select any post created under the post type Testimonial. This post will only be used as a preview while designing in Elementor. Once done, edit this post in Elementor. To get posts content dynamically, I'll be using dynamic widgets provided by Anywhere Elementor Pro. Of course, you can also use Elementor default widgets with dynamic functionality if you want. To display the post featured image, I am using the AE Post Image widget. Then AE Post Content for description. Then to get data from ACF custom fields, we'll use the dynamic tags functionality in Elementor's native widgets. In Elementor's default widget, click on dynamic tags. And then look for ACF, AE tag and use the appropriate ACF tag. Then in the settings, select the field name. Saw the custom field data is displayed. Let's display another custom field data author designation then doing some settings to style things up. I think we have created a pretty good basic layout. Let us save the changes. Now open a page where you want to add a testimonial section. Simply use the AE Post Blocks Advanced widget to display the created testimonial layout on the front end. Under the Layout section, select the Carousel option. You can also create grid and accordion styles. Then choose the block layout created for the testimonials. Then under the query option, specify the data source like testimonial. Have you noticed the testimonials are already displayed? Then there are some advanced query filter options available, which you can use to filter some posts. Next, we need to do some settings for the carousel skin. Select the carousel effects, then set the slides per view as one in group view option. Finally, Adjust the carousel speed and pagination settings. Let's have a look at the final implementation. Showcasing client testimonials on your website can increase your brand value and authority. Display them in a carousel slider or inside a grid it's up to you. That's it. If you have any queries, just drop a comment below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel.